Hey y'all, what's going on? Jack Tompkins with Pineapple Consulting Firm. We're helping you become data-driven, and today we're doing that in the form of financial dashboards in Excel. Excel, everybody's favorite tool, right? <laughs> Some people's favorite tool, very few. Okay, it's just my favorite tool, but it is very impactful. A lot of people know how to use at least the basics of it. So we're gonna dive into how to make a financial dashboard within Excel, uh, we can do automated features, we can make it very visual, we can make it very easy for clients to understand and internally for your own business to understand too. So let's dive in and show how to make a financial dashboard in Excel. All right, so here we are in Excel and I, I, I really am. I'm a big fan of Excel because it can give you the full picture and it's also very customizable. So, I mean, just looking at this, it, it kind of doesn't feel like Excel anymore. Right. I mean, especially if we hide this top ribbon, if you weren't to show your client or even look at if it's just your own dashboard, these uh, column letters and the row numbers, it really doesn't feel like Excel anymore. Right. So it, it can take that transformation, which is kind of important because I'm a big fan of uh, making things very visually appealing. Excel does not have that reputation, but if you make a dashboard that looks something along these lines or however you want to make it, as long as it doesn't feel like Excel, it's actually a lot more enticing. So know that that's possible. It's also very customizable. So a great thing about Excel is that you can put any formula in any cell. Of course, you all know this. You're all Excel fanatics, I hope, uh, or if not uh, familiar enough with Excel but you can do anything in any cell. And I, I want to reiterate that because it is very important and it is not something that you can do in any web-based platform. So Excel does still have a lot of pros in its column. There are certainly cons, but one common myth is that you can't automate data into Excel. Now that's not true. So if I'm going to jump over here to this QBO data, and this is actually QuickBooks online data, it's of course fake data that I've manipulated a little bit, but everything in black text here, uh, that can come directly from a program or it can come directly from QuickBooks online via a program called coupler.io. And that is couple, like the word couple with an R at the end of it, dot IO. And you can automate this data directly into Excel. Uh, you could do the same thing in Google Sheets, or you could put it into um, Google's uh, data warehousing database software uh, program called uh, BigQuery. And then you can create within Excel, you can use a program called Power Pivot up here. We won't go into that, but it is an option to grab that data automatically from BigQuery uh, and bring it into Excel. So all of this can be automated in a fairly uh, easy way. Now, everything off to the right, these blue columns, these are what I like to call helper columns. So this is basically great. We're getting the data in here. Now let's make sure we have some columns in the format that we want them so that we can easily analyze or visualize and manipulate the data in the way that we want to. So all of this can be done uh, again, with relative ease. And that's important to feed the dashboard that can look whatever your business goals are. I always say, make sure that the dashboard is tied to a business goal. But whatever your business goals are, as long as the data exists somewhere in that data pull from QuickBooks Online or whatever your accounting software is, if you're making a financial dashboard, as long as it's in there, you can make a dashboard from it. So this dashboard is uh, the overall goal is kind of, are we bringing on clients profitably? So that's why I've got this cost per acquisition trend as a big sort of highlighted trend graph. We've got some per employee metrics to make sure that, you know, in, in a very rudimentary analysis, this section here, revenue per employee is for whatever month this is 26,000. And the overhead is only 20,000. So in theory, uh, we are making plenty of profit on an employee level. So we're bringing in customers profitably and all the employees are contributing and we're profitable at an employee level. Some basic things, this would obviously change or differ based on your own goals or your client's goals. But everything here can be made uh, from the QuickBooks Online data 
You could even include projections if you want. I have some very rudimentary projections in here of just revenue by month. You can make this for any account that you want, but then you can bring that all into a dashboard with the help of pivot tables. If you're not familiar with them or have not experienced with them, I promise they get very easy very quickly. And all of this data that is shown here is directly from uh, I would say a pivot table, but it's really multiple pivot tables, all the same metrics though. So I can't stress enough visualizing your data, tying it to a business goal, and I'm still a big fan of Excel. Now there are plenty of web-based options that you can do this with. They are not quite as customizable. Uh, you can get a very similar level of automation with Excel even if it's just the ultimate backstop to everything of doing a CSV download, that's still pretty quick. It's not automated, but you can do that within, you know, two minutes, three minutes, and you can update all of your data. So don't discount Excel. It's still totally usable, totally user-friendly. It's probably something you already have on your computer, essentially free. So this is an important tool. You can get a lot of good information for your business or your clients businesses just from Excel, just from something like a QuickBooks online income statement. I hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, or even if it does, please let me know, reach out with any questions, comments, concerns. I've been Jack Tompkins with Pineapple Consulting Firm, and I love helping folks become more data driven. Thanks so much, everyone.